This next recipe is sure to get your attention. It's sticky deep fried chicken wings. Oh, they are an absolute treat. And before we get on to deep frying our chicken wings, we're going to make a really sticky sweet glaze. So I'm gonna use some pantry items that I always have, sweet chili sauce. We want about 125 mils of this. So I'm gonna roughly measure it out into a pot. Sweet chili sauce, is going to provide the sweetness. So it's all about balancing with this sauce. Saltiness is going to come from some soy sauce. So about a tablespoon of soy sauce and a little less of the fish sauce because it's quite dominant. So about a teaspoon and a half. And we're going to bring this to the boil. So we want this to reduce slightly. Just going to get a whisk and combine those flavors. And once this comes to the boil, I'm going to turn it off and add the acidity to this, which is a combination of lime zest and the juice. I don't want to add this now because we'll lose a lot of the characteristic of the lime. So we'll leave that to the last minute. Now onto our chicken wings. I want to make a southern fried chicken style of chicken wings. So I'm going to add some plain flour to a bowl, about a cup and we need to add some spices. So classic Southern fried chicken spices. We've got garlic powder, onion powder, and I love Chinese five spice. So in they go. And a generous pinch of salt so we can season the chicken. Just give that a mix with your hands. And that's one coating. And we're also going to use some buttermilk. Now, a lot of recipes call for you to marinate the chicken. And by all means, if you have time, do marinate it in the buttermilk because what the buttermilk does is tenderizes the chicken. But you can actually cook these straight away, which is what I'm going to do today. And they still are quite delicious. Now, I buy my chicken wings just like this. The wing tip is still attached. We're going to remove that because there's not much meat on it. And you just want to cut straight through that soft cartilage and we'll get rid of that. And we're just going to be using these two parts of the chicken wing. So again, cutting through, leaving the skin on. So you can see this is the ultimate party food. You just hand these around, eat them with your hands. They taste even better. Now I'm gonna combine this with our buttermilk. So we'll pour about 500 mils of buttermilk over our chicken. And just with my tongs, I'll give that a mix. So each little wing is coated. Now I've pre-cut all of those wings, so we're ready to go. So into our flour mixture, and then you can get your hands in here and give it a good coating. Now, when it comes to southern fried chicken, you want to press that flour in so it gets a little bit clumpy and gluggy, just like that. That is going to form that signature crust. So after you've done that, just place it onto a tray and then we can start frying this in batches. Okay, it's frying time. I've set my deep fryer to 180 degrees and these are going to cook for about eight minutes or until they're really golden brown. And what I love about this deep fryer is you can recycle the oil. So it cleans it and filters it. So if you want to use it for some donuts or some more chicken at a later date, you can. So we're going to pop about half of this batch into the basket. So in it goes. And once they're cooked, I'm going to place them onto a tray that's been lined with a rack so they stay crispy on the top and the bottom. I know you can get these exact ones almost at a takeaway shop, but my oh my, deep frying them at home, they taste so much better. Look at that. You can see this is going to feed so many people. Now, once they've come out of the oil, just place them on the rack for a moment to cool down slightly. You don't want them to overcool because you want that sticky glaze to stick to the hot chicken. And see all these gnarly bits in here? You want to be eating that. That is the gold. All right. Now let's place a generous amount of these little chicken wings onto a plate. 
can smell the five spice. So good. And our sticky sauce, we can finish it off with the lime. So some lime zest can go straight into the pot. Oh, you really want that freshness from the lime in this dish. And we'll cut that in half. Give it a good squeeze. Second one. Excellent. Stir that through. See how glossy that is. That's what we're after. A quick garnish for this, a combination of peanuts, roughly chop them. I have toasted these and the coriander. Well, I'm just going to pick off a few of the sprigs for a pop of colour. All right, let's adorn these beautiful wings with our sauce. Drizzle that over the top. Excellent. And our crushed peanuts, sprinkle over the top. And the coriander. Ta-da! <laughs> I think if you make this for your friend's birthday, their next birthday, you are going to be <laughs> loved by everyone. They are just so Moorish. They're crunchy, they're sticky. They're everything you want in a deep fried chicken wing. Mm. If you want, don't make these for your friends at all. Just make yourself a big batch because they're worth it. You won't be able to stop at one, I promise. You'll need at least 10, at least. <laughs>